Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Muggle Magic. My patrons on Patreon voted on what my next video should be, so today I'm going to be doing Harry Potter Printables Volume 6. In this set of printables, I've included a lot of stuff that people have been asking for in the comments, like uh, the Yule Ball Invitation, the Triwizard Champion notes that came out of the Goblet of Fire, and a few Weasley's Wizard Wheezes printables. So go ahead and check out the description box below for a list of supplies, as well as the free downloadable templates, and let's get started. First up, we have a couple of Weasley's Wizard Wheezes uh, items. Right here we have uh, an ad for the Unlucky Dip, and then this is just a pretty cool Weasley pattern right here. So these can just be used as decoration, and we're just going to cut them out with a ruler and X-Acto knife. Make sure that uh, you are doing this on top of a cutting mat, because if you don't, you're gonna scratch up your table a bunch. You want to line up the ruler with the edge that you wanna cut, just take your X-Acto knife and follow along that edge and you should get nice clean cuts. Alternatively, you can use a paper cutter if you have one. And with them all cut out, they should look like this. And next we have yet another Weasley item. This is the uh, Wizard Weezes official receipt. I have two that are filled out and two that are blank. So if you wanna fill them in yourself, you can. Basically, we're just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna cut these out with a ruler and X-Acto knife. And these should look like this when you have them all cut out. Next up, we have the Yule Ball Invitation. Now this has been asked for quite a bit, so I'm excited to actually get this out to you guys. And again, we're just gonna cut this out with a ruler and X-Acto knife or a paper cutter if you have one. And when finished, the Yule Ball Invitation should look like this. Now it's worth noting that I did print this on cardstock, and but everything else so far has just been on regular paper. Next is a sign or poster for the Museum of Muggle Curiosities. This was printed on 11 by 17 paper. And again, we're just gonna cut this out like we have everything else. And you should end up with a poster that looks like this. And last but not least, we have the Triwizard Champion Notes, which came out of the Goblet of Fire. This was also printed on just regular paper, uh, double-sided. And when you cut it out, you wanna cut it with the uh, front side facing up. You can either use scissors, or what I'm going to use is my uh, swivel cut X-Acto knife. And this thing is awesome because I can basically just start tracing this with the blade itself. And as you can see, the blade sort of swivels with uh, my cuts here. Now once you have them all cut out, they should look like this. But if you take a closer look at them, I don't know how well you can see this in the camera, but there is some like white you can see on the edge of the paper here and here, basically anywhere that you cut, you can see the white paper in between uh, the printed part, just right along the edges. So to get rid of that, I'm just gonna take a Sharpie and just color in the sides and I'm just using a black sharpie for this and then you can do the same thing with the black sharpie around all of the rest of these. For the gold part however around Fleur's uh, note I want to use a gold marker or you could use a, a brown one if you don't have gold. Now at this point we could be done. In fact, with these three, I am done. However, with floors, I want to put that gold, I want that to actually be gold around the edge. So I'm gonna use some gold leaf for that. So basically all I need is a scrap piece of paper, a deco foil adhesive pen, and of course, some gold leaf. And all of this is going to be linked in the description box. So if you wanna get your hands on some of this stuff, or if you need to order it, you can find the links in the description. Before we start, you also want to make sure that you have a soft paintbrush to brush this stuff away. So I'm just going to take my adhesive pen and color over this entire area where it looks gold on the outside. Now it's just a matter of getting this gold leaf on top of it like this. And then you can just, you can kind of see where it's clinging to it underneath the gold leaf. So just sort of brush this on, make sure that it sticks. 
and it'll start to sort of come off like this, you can see, and that's that's okay. It's supposed to, so. But it does get messy and it sticks to everything. And now as you can see, it has a golden shine around the edge. And if you want, you can do that to the reverse side as well, but it's not as important as the, as the uh, front side. Um, another detail with uh, floors is that it is folded up quite a bit. So we're going to fold it in half and then fold it in half again and then fold it in half again. And we're just gonna keep folding it in half. And I'm gonna fold it in half one last time So now when I open it up, there we go. So this is what uh, floors should look like when you're finished. If you want to win the printables I made in this video today, there's gonna to be a link in the description box below to the weekly giveaway. If this video can get 700 likes before the giveaway's over, I will be giving away two sets of these printables. So there's gonna be two winners if we can do that. And now to announce the winners of two of my previous giveaways. First up we have the Ministry of Magic ID. This was a re-release of the templates and I will be customizing this with the winner's information and photograph. And the winner is Lime Tortoise. Next, we have the winner for the Weasley's Wizard Weezes Explosive Enterprises line of products. Now, these were fireworks, but I can't send fireworks in the mail, so this giveaway is just for the printed templates so that you can make your own fireworks or your own props out of these. And the winner is Shelly Smith. Congratulations to both of you, and I've sent you emails with instructions on how you can claim your prizes. Remember, I get a lot of ideas for these DIYs that I do from your comments. So if you have an idea for something that you want to see me do in the future, definitely leave a comment below and let me know. If you're interested in seeing more DIY videos having to do with Harry Potter and more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.